this control we might draw up in Tensor in a quite easy way. Let's start drawing this contour. We will start with the radius on the left side, which is uh, can be defined by r coordinates, and our x value is minus 100 if we take this as our reference point, and our radius is 10, and let's define it clockwise, example OK. Then we'll define the R15, which of the central lies in the reference point, so that'd be 0, 0, and the radius of 15 starts here and ends up almost here. And we can then define a tangent line between these two arcs. Up oh, there's a tangent line. And we will continue try to define the R10. If you look at the drawing, the XY center is not that easy to calculate. So what we can do is rotate our axis to make it a little bit easier. So if we move to axis rotate, and we'll rotate our axis uh, that would be minus 110 degrees. So that would mean my x-axis points into this direction. So now it's quite easy to define our R10, because that would give you an x value of 40, y0, and a radius of 10. And let's suppose it starts here up to here. We'll click on OK. And with the modify mode we can alter the arc a little bit so it looks a little bit like it should be. As this is our last element and this is the first last element we can use the tangent function so there's our tangent line. If you look at the drawing we need this line over here is defined as being the tangent line between this arc and that arc so we'll deselect all elements, select this arc and this arc and we'll define a tangent line. So there's a tangent line and if you look at the lower line for that line counts the same that it is also a tangent line between this radius and the radius of 15. So we'll select this radius and again this radius and we will define a tangent line. So now we're almost ready. We deselect all elements. In the meanwhile we will reset our axis so it will return to its original position and rotation. And we will now select this line and this line and we will fill it in with an R of 5. So to get rid of these end pieces of the arc we can select three elements and trim the elements. So it will only leave this part of the arc. So this is quite easy to define this arc within Tensor. So move on to the next video or exercise.